In a time long ago, Victor Ozerman, the Napoli football sensation, donned the cloak of a masked crusader on the pitch, seemingly a football superhero. However, a transformation occurred as he morphed into a formidable force in Serie A and across Europe, all courtesy of his prolific goal-scoring prowess. Little did anyone suspect that beneath this mask, Ozerman concealed a heroic narrative that had its roots in his childhood. Ozerman's journey to becoming a football luminary was no cakewalk. In an interview with Niger Sports, he bared the trials and tribulations that painted his early life. He came of age on the fringes of Nigeria, amidst the gritty slums of Lagos. The going got even tougher for Ozerman after losing his mother during his formative years and witnessing his father's health decline, coupled with the loss of his job. As the eldest sibling, he shouldered the weight of providing for his family, and alongside some of his brothers and sisters, he took to the streets, peddling water to eke out a living. Yet, Ozerman refused to be daunted by these challenges. He earmarked a portion of his hard-earned water-selling income for schooling and indulging his passion for football, sharing the pitch with his friends. Sporting a pair of used football boots scavenged from a dumpster, Ozerman persisted in his relentless training, tirelessly honing his skills. The turning point arrived when Ozerman received the call to represent Nigeria in the U-17 national team. Prior to this, he had thrown his lot with a local football club, the Ultimate Strikers, alongside his pals. It was there that the discerning eye of former Barcelona star Emmanuel Amunak detected Ozerman's extraordinary talent, catapulting him into the Nigeria under-17 national team in 2015. Amunak, entranced by Ozerman's blistering speed and unwavering physical prowess, entrusted him with the mantle of the team's mainstay player. In the year 2015, Ozerman's self-assurance bore fruit as he clinched a remarkable victory, a sweet triumph that involved bringing the 2015 U-17 World Cup home to Nigeria from Chile. Remarkably, he also claimed a dual crown, emerging as the tournament's top scorer with a tally of 10 goals and garnering the coveted title of best player. Since that momentous occasion, Ozerman held unwavering faith in the notion that football could be his lifeline. Owing to his prodigious talent exhibited at a tender age, European football clubs began to cast their keen eyes upon Ozerman. Amidst a flurry of offers, Ozerman, after careful consideration, charted his course to Wolfsburg. His decision was guided by two pivotal factors, first, the partnership between Wolfsburg and Ozerman's nurturing ground, the Ultimate Strikers Academy, and second, the pressing need to provide financial support for his family. However, life at Wolfsburg posed its own set of challenges. Ozerman wrestled with injuries and a scourge of malaria which curtailed his playing time. Nevertheless, he persevered and judiciously utilized the earnings from his contract to ameliorate the welfare of his family, culminating in the purchase of a decent house for his father in Lagos and regular financial support for his siblings. Soon after his stint with Wolfsburg, Victor Ozerman found himself on loan to the Belgian outfit, Charleroi, in 2018. At Charleroi, Ozerman dazzled with a scintillating display, netting 20 goals in 36 matches and successfully restoring his reputation. Nonetheless, the Belgian club couldn't withstand the allure of capitalizing on Ozerman's burgeoning talent for a second season. Enter French club Lille, willing to part with a substantial sum of £20 million to secure his services. Ozerman flourished at Lille, emerging as the team's top scorer with an impressive tally of 18 goals across all competitions in just one season. And then, Napoli, helmed by Gattuso, became captivated by Ozerman's abilities, offering a substantial fee to secure him as a replacement for Arkady Smilic, who had been loaned to Marseille. Napoli went a step further, making Ozerman their costliest acquisition ever, with a staggering valuation of £70 million. At the tender age of 21, he etched his name into history, ascending as the most expensive African player, eclipsing illustrious Nigerian football seniors like J.J. Okocha, Obi Mikel, Mwankwo Konu, and Obafemi Martins. Yet, the saga of Ozerman's accomplishments took a samba turn upon his arrival at Napoli. A mere few months after donning the Azure jersey, his beloved father departed this world. 
Osaman was plunged into profound sorrow and despair, for he had now lost both his parents. The pang of grief was intensified by the knowledge that they would never witness the resplendent success he achieved in the realm of football. Nonetheless, upon his entry into Napoli, Osaman swiftly left an indelible mark, netting ten goals during his debut season in Italy. Unfortunately, a shadow of calamity loomed over his career in the 2021-22 season when a brutal on-field collision with Inter Milan's defender, Skriniar, resulted in a severe jaw injury. The subsequent journey was arduous, requiring an operation to implant a staggering 18 bolts into his fractured jawbone. Medical professionals grappled with the gravity of his injuries, and Osman, at one point, contemplated retirement from the sport. For him, it was a harrowing chapter, the most terrifying experience of his life. Two months saw Osman sidelined due to his debilitating injury. However, light eventually pierced through the darkness, as doctors devised a solution that enabled his return to the football pitch with a specialized protective mask. In spite of a brush with near tragedy, Osman remained resolute and unbroken. Upon recovery, Osman resolutely persevered, nurturing his performance and goal-scoring instinct through dedicated rehabilitation and unyielding effort. He emerged akin to a reborn figure, akin to a masked avenger, a footballing superhero. His name became the coveted prize of major footballing titans, now ascending to become one of the most valuable players in the transfer market, commanding a staggering sum exceeding £100 million. In the 2022-23 season, Osman dazzled alongside Spalletti, now reigning as the Serie A's top goalscorer with 12 goals. Osman's life journey, woven with sorrow and culminating in triumph, stands as a testament to human resilience. Today, he strides forth into the zenith of his glory days.